I feel like I'm gonna call and lose the fucking queen high. Oh my god. I probably shouldn't have even opened this hand, but it's hard to fold king nine suited unopened. Guess I'm gonna check this back. Eh. I've opened like such a tight range here, so. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, I'm opening like so many ace high hands that I think it's okay for me to bet, and pairs. Like I'm just not opening many, many hands. Pretty tight there, pretty tight spot pre-flop, so I think betting the flop's a little bit better than normal. I also don't think my hand's worth much money in a showdown type situation, so it's not like I really hate bet folding it. Good luck us with the Kings. Pretty good. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want all three of them to have Ace King and all three of them to get it in. That'd be great. I would take it. All three of them call, all three of them have ace king. Works great for me. Queen 10 and ace jack. And I hold. Triple up. Woo! Back in it. Oh, yeah. They all can't have ace king if I have kings. You guys are smart. You guys caught that. Yeah, I didn't. I had no clue. Well, it worked out, so it's all good. But yeah, maybe next time I'll ask for ace queen. Maybe next time I'll ask for ace queen. I mean, it kind of sucks that it went in so fast for him, but I mean, <clears throat> still think this goes in. Yeah, the timing was a bit annoying. The timing was a bit annoying, but I don't think I'm going to be folding sevens there. So I would have folded fives probably. I still probably would have called sixes. Because the timing was pretty compelling, but it is what it is. I think with this one, I'm supposed to raise call. I'm going to complete the small mind with Jack 2 off. I think open jamming this hand was certainly an option. Wound up stabbing the flop here with Jack 2 off, which I think is defensible. I'm going to overbet the turn here, which I think is pretty standard. Got the fold on the turn there. And we held here. Pretty good. We won both. Back to waiting for 20 minutes before we get dealt 7-3 offsuit and then fold it. Oh, my God, tell Taste Jack. I'm complaining too much. You see how quite fast that pillar opened? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna see bet. Pretty standard. I'm not a big hand for hand guy. Hand for hand is too, too slow. Too slow. I play online poker because it's fast. So we get to the hand for hand component and we load up. We load up uh, hypers. And when I play with Josh, he's always saying that he wants us to get down to 10 big blinds as fast as possible so that he can kick my ass. Because if we're short, he has an edge for, for sure. He's better. Well, I tried. I mean, pretty standard spot to call the ace four show with eights and lose to jacks. Pretty standard. Just gonna fold this hand. I think it's also standard. Gonna felt the nine eight suited. Try to get the triple up. 
Which is, this is still a triple up. Oh my gosh. 10 ball. Do you guys see how unlucky I ran? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, I don't get a care of shit at all. It's fine. Hopefully this bubble bursts soon. So I can stop getting crushed in hypers. We have two 100k, like basically three 100k stacks. And this player's not that far off of that, so. Should be some 10 big blind jamming going on. And then the deepest stacks only have 30. Sorry, the deepest stacks have a lot of chips, actually. I think this is a pretty standard open. Pretty standard open. I'm gonna be tight on in terms of how I raise the button, but I think including the sand is still gonna be fine. It's interesting. All right, so the bubbles burst. Bubbles burst, which changes my um, the strategy I was going to deploy. I was going to, I was thinking about whether or not to shove the turn based on like a number of different assumptions I was making. But I think the allure of shoving the, like I was basically going to shovel, shove the turn based on like the way that I thought this player, like I was going to, I'm going to lose to a straight and I'll just like, you know, turn seven X two pair, but I didn't think that it was very likely I lose to much else. Um, didn't think it was likely I would lose to much else. So I was willing to put up with that. I was thinking, I was thinking about Jamie and turn. I was probably going to do it, but I wasn't sure. It's a bit different from some other situations. I think I'm just going to call. Got to think about shoving, but I'm going to call. I don't think I can do anything. Same thing. Can't do anything. Got to get better cards. Got to get better cards. Got to get better hands. I'm no magician. Can't make it happen with nothing. Pretty sure this is going in. So sometimes someone has ace nine offsuit. Sometimes someone has ace ten offsuit. Sometimes someone has tens. Sometimes I lose, but I don't think I'm folding this hand. Pretty sure this is going in. Actually, now I know this. I mean, this is, this is always going in. The only way this wasn't going to go in is a spirit universe. Still going. Hey YouTube, BBZ here, and I am just announcing our brand new website, bbzpoker.com. We've got the same products and services that you're used to on the former website. Uh, with some new additions, we've got the ICM course there, and we're gonna continue to provide updates to our total video library, and we've got access to some other things there, so you can go check that out, bbzpoker.com. Really look forward to seeing you. Thanks very much, guys. I mean, I think this is gonna be like ace nine offsuit sometimes, but like this range is gonna to be too weak. There we go. It's a little bit tough with the pay with the pay jump there. There's no doubt. It's not as good because of the pay jump that I'm pay jump bubble. But you gotta make a judgment about how weak you think that range is. I made my judgment and I called. <laughs> so I do take, um, and that, like they're, they're, they're like good mental tests. 
and they like you feel good and like they're the vasoconstriction is supposed to be like really good for you and all the other shit right so not every shower i take is is ice cold but i'll do it um i would say like 20 20 to 25 percent of the time maybe i think if this player donk bets i'm jamming depends on the size of the donk bet Yeah, I don't think I really want to make it like 87k with this hand, so it's just going to get dropped. Basically, the reason for that is because every turn sucks. All of them. Um, as far as bankroll management, I think you should view it algorithmically. Like when you lose money, you play lower. When you make money, you, win, you play higher. I expand on that um, in a podcast I did with Jamie, which is available on YouTube. So... Have you read Pinker's Enlightenment now? If not, I recommend it. I own it. I have the book downstairs. Have I read it yet? No. But it's on the shelf. So I'll get to it. In general, how are the games on party? They seem fine. Games seem good. Are they softer than other sites? They're about the same. They, they seem comparable. They seem comparable. I'm also playing at the top of the curve for the most part. So like it's difficult for me to compare like 33s, right? I think if you're comparing lower to mid-stakes games, party poker's softer. Um, I believe that. Like, that's, that's what that's what we think in, internally uh, inside BBZ. I don't really want to disclose too much of that, but we think that. So, I'll say that. Um, at the at the at high stakes, it's probably not going to be. It's probably more negligible, with the exception being the party poker 5K, the big game. That's a very good 5K. Like, relative to like weekly high stakes games that run. And I'm just going to check because I have worse hands to bluff with, even though this one's going to lose here. I don't think I could make him full of flush. I mean, I could, I could, I could just jam, but it's not super easy. All right. So we've got a hand that we can, you know, try to play. Going to complete the small blind with Jack six suited. Seems defensible. I'm going to check flop, which seems equally Defensible. I think this is like the most efficient way to keep bluffing, I think just I feel like I'm going to call and lose to fucking Queen High. Oh my god. I can see my King 7. I'm going to re-steal here with Jax. I'm going to make this call though. Oh yes! Fucking love my life. Woo! Lost this one, but I don't give a fuck. I'm the fucking man. Alright. Let's try to do this fucking KO thing real quick, or this, sorry, this hyper thing real quick, and then I'm gonna take my break. Yes! Jack high. Woo! That's what we do! See, I don't care if it's a 215 or if it's a 5K or whatever. Like, it's about playing well. If I play well, I get excited. If I play like shit, I get pissed off. If I lose heads up, I get mad. I don't care if it's a fucking $5 game or. I would have been pissed if I would have lost that, that heads up this morning. I would have been happy for the guy, which is different, but I, I still would have wanted to win. All right, so that's my hyper, which is fine. Like, I'm not playing another one. Um, um, why are the micro and low stakes games better? I mean, I can't really specifically give you a reason. I can give you theories, but who cares? I give you enough <laughs> with, the, with the statement. Um... 
I'm gonna check. Gonna call. Oh shit, this looks terrible. That's better. There we go. Final table. No more hand for hand. So no reason, no reason to, to load sit and goes. I bet economically I'm more successful than the second most successful poke chess player in the world. And I'm nowhere close. I'm not the best. I'm not the second best no limit holding player in the world. But I just like the economics just aren't that good. So like why would you play chess instead of playing poker? Those guys picked the wrong game. <laughs> Those guys chose the wrong game. Where did you play before party poker? I mean I played mostly on poker stars before party. But I've been playing about 50%, like, you know, as far as when I came up. I built my bankroll on that site, right? But, like, they've made a lot of changes recently, and those changes have driven, uh, like, po PokerStars has changed a lot of things over the, since, since the old days. Since the old days, a lot of things have changed, and I've moved a lot of my volume to, I'd moved half my volume to party before ever signing with them. All right, guys. Obviously, the ace-king hand is pretty standard. I could have open-shoved the ace-king for 20 bigs. That's not really that much of a play, though, there. And I think calling there is beyond standard. So, Jeej, 740, 733, sorry, is what we cash for. Again, thanks, guys. I will see you later. Cheers, peace, good luck to everyone. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.